Hello people, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, today by the title, I'm going to be teaching you how to take bomb jewelry pics with just your iPhone and a few other tools. Now, I just want to say excuse me for sounding a little bit sick. As you guys know, I've been getting really sick these past two months due to my seasonal allergies and it's been kind of putting me out of the game for a little. So I'm sorry if I sound a little bit congested, but the show must go on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right in. So to begin, usually I go ahead and private label my jewelry first. That way I can have all my branding, I can have my packaging on there, and people can really see what the jewelry is going to look like when I go ahead and ship it out to them. Now you're free to do this without your labels, that is what most people do, but for me personally I think this looks a whole lot better than this and it's just the way that I prefer to do it. So you can definitely, definitely, definitely skip on this step, it's just something again that I prefer to do. Now if you don't know how to private label jewelry, I did make a whole separate video about how to private label accessories in general, so I will put it somewhere up here and you can go ahead and just watch it after this video. And so with that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys how I do this. So you will need a nice background and I've shown you guys this before but I love, love, love this rug that I got from Amazon. It's about 20 bucks and it makes a world of a difference when taking your pictures. And it's so tiny that it can fit a piece of clothing but it also doesn't take up much space in your house. So it's space efficient and it has very nice high quality fur. So for 20 bucks, I think you should definitely invest in a little rug like this or at least some kind of background to really give your photos that pop. So once you have a nice background, you're just going to need your cell phone and you're also going to need natural lighting and ideally you want to do this at least two hours before the sun sets. So we're going to go ahead and go on our cell phones and we're going to place the rug down. So once we've groomed our background and we got it all straightened out and staged for the photo, we can go ahead and place our item down. Now what I like to do is I like to actually angle the picture a bit because I just find that it's kind of unflattering when it's just taken straight on. So if you don't know what I mean, this is exactly what I mean when I say that you can angle it. So once you do that, you can also actually toggle the sunset icon to increase and decrease the exposure on the photo. I think the natural lighting looks good right now so I'm going to stick with that and I also prefer to not take jewelry photos on portrait mode. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and touch up these photos later so don't worry too much about little details. Just make sure you have your background straight enough and good lighting to capture the picture. So go ahead and place the item down, make sure you're straightening everything out, make sure you're checking the surroundings, making sure there's no dirt, there's no awkward things in your background and things like that. And then just go ahead and snap the photo. And you can also go into your settings and turn on the grid lines. Again, I don't use them, it's just my personal preference, but I know there are a lot of people who love, love, love using the grid lines. So go ahead and do that. And so now once you have your photos, we're going to go ahead and go into InPaint and just remove any of the little things that are bothering us. So you can see like these little specks here, I just want to clean that up a little. There's a little bit of fur sticking out on the card and I'm just going to clean that up as well. Now this is me definitely being a little bit more OCD. You do not have to do this, you can definitely just take the photo and then touch it up in the iPhone settings in your photo gallery. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and touch them up now. So I'm going to just be increasing the lighting, maybe adjusting the contrast a little bit. I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy that's going to make the photo look like it's photoshopped. So you do want to keep it a little bit natural, especially for online boutiques because you don't have that person to person interaction so you want to make sure that it looks real. So after taking the photo and after touching it up, the last thing that we are going to do is resize it before we post it to our Shopify store and that is because a lot of Shopify themes do not automatically resize photos for you. So you don't want it to look awkward like it does in this section for example. You can see how it's a little bit uneven in my website because I didn't resize one of the photos properly and even though it's a small thing, customers are going to see that and you want your website to look nice and clean for people to trust you. So go ahead and resize it. I usually do 2.8 by 4.31 and I use an app called Image Size. So you can download that in the App Store. I'm pretty sure it's available in iOS and Android. So after we resize that, we're going to go ahead and put it into our Shopify store. 
Now that we have the photo, now that we've imported it, you also want to make sure that you are giving it a very optimized description. So make sure to tell what colors you have it in. You can also put in the length of the chain, you can put in the shape, if it's gold plated, if it's actual gold, and things like that. And also on your website where it tells you to put in SEO alt tags, you don't want to skip on that. You don't want to mess that up because those are all the kind of low-key things on your website that you want to take care of in order to optimize it and in order to help people find you over your competitors. So you want to go ahead and make sure to put that in and then we are going to go ahead and put that listing up. And so now when you go to your online store, you can see that your jewelry looks beautiful, it looks nice and clean, it looks professional, and you can use this method for anything really, for Etsy, for Shopify, probably honestly for Amazon if you have a white background, and things like that. So you can see the before and after of this photo versus this photo, and obviously this photo looks much better. And as you can see, I did all of this at home with really simple tools and I didn't really spend over $25 to do this. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was short, but I appreciate you guys tuning in as always and I hope it helped you out. So if this video helped you out, go ahead and make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to hit on that notification bell because I'm always posting quality content about how to start your boutique, investing, making more money online and things like that. So you don't want to miss out on that and you want to make sure that you are getting all the valuable information you can for free. So with that being said, again, make sure to sub to my channel to help the algorithm and help me push more videos like this to you guys. And I appreciate you guys as always. Thank you guys again. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!